Today's episode is not what I originally had scheduled to release. With this week being the first week of a new year, I would like to address something. Now, there are more than enough books and blogs and, yes, even podcasts surrounding the New Year, New You makeover. And to be honest, the episode I had planned on releasing today has nothing to do with New Year's at all. I was hoping to avoid the numerous life hacks and tricks entirely. Side note, however, if that is what you're looking for, then you can find that in last year's episode, episode 19 of season one, titled Breaking Bad, Cracking the Code of Habits, I do recommend. But this year, I want to start things a bit differently. We're tired. We're exhausted with everything we've been handed the last two years and the who knows what's around the corner. Personally, I'm spent, as you probably are as well. (laughs) Welcome to the club. You are not alone. I almost don't even want to peek over my bed sheets in the morning, much less poke my head around the corner. Emotionally, physically, spiritually, just tired. So, the idea of a perky New Year's list of what great things I'm going to be this year, or what feats of wonder or language I'm going to learn, or how I'm going to swim the English Channel, these things, and much more, can, well, wait. Though I don't have any aspirations of swimming the English Channel, but I'm sure it's a gas, but this year... I'd like to suggest something that's a rather unpopular opinion surrounding New Year's resolutions. Are you ready? Let them go. No, really, really. Like, whatever they may be, consider letting them go. Put them in a box labeled 2023. Wrap it nice and tight with duct tape and put it on a shelf in your closet. Resolutions? Not this year. But Chad, you say, we all need goals. We need something to aim for, a a purpose, a place, uh, aspirations in this world, right? Right? Well, let's find out. I'm Chad Lawson, and let's calm it down in three, two, one. Happy New Year, by the way. I'd like to do a simple thought exercise with you. Now, I haven't been able to get this visual out of my head for a number of weeks now, and I want to share it with you. So hopefully it will bring you some calm, not only this year, but next year and the ones to follow. Okay, find somewhere nice and comfortable. Close your eyes. Hmm. Imagine your favorite place. If you could snap your fingers, you would be there right now. Like on an island somewhere in the mountains by a stream, some place that that's like the most relaxing spot you could ever wish for. And it's just you, no one else. It's just you. All right. Have you found your happy place? Okay. I'm not going to share where mine is, just in case you show up all of a sudden. (laughs) Just kidding. All right. Now, imagine at this place, this beautiful, scenic, gorgeous spot that's just entirely yours. Now, imagine a large, dry eraser board there in front of you. Random. I know. I get it. Stick with me. Now, on this whiteboard, this dry eraser board, There are a number of goals or resolutions already written out. Someone's already done the work for us. And, you know, the usual suspects are there. Um, Handle money better, um, eat better, be more productive, so on, so on. And then a few new ones you've wanted to add this year, perhaps. Uh, Getting up earlier in the morning or wine only on the weekends and And then, of course, there is the run half marathon by the end of summer. Makes sense to put a strong, healthy one in there just for good measure. 
If there are goals or resolutions that I haven't mentioned, I haven't added, by all means, go ahead, write them down. Put them there on that whiteboard. Go for it. I'll give you a second. Okay. Now, staring at the whiteboard, the sound of the ocean waves or a mountain stream peacefully behind you, I would like for you to take the eraser and wipe away everything written on the board. Everything. Just wipe it off the board. 5K, gone. Read more books, gone. Learning the foxtrot, I applaud your style, but let's save that for the next dance. Just wipe it clear. Now, with the board completely clean, I'd like for you to notice how you feel right now. What does your body feel like right now? Shoulders are loose, your jaw is relaxed, you're breathing slow and steady. With your eyes still closed, staring at this whiteboard in your mind, you're free. Your mind is free. Take a moment to embrace what this feels like. Some of you may have never felt this way ever. Acknowledge how you feel right now. Eyes still closed, I'd like for you to imagine writing something on this board. Choosing your favorite color of marker, any color, I would like for you to write these words in big letters. You ready? Love yourself. That's it. Just two words. Love yourself. Eyes still closed. Take two steps back from the board and read those words to yourself. Love yourself. Your shoulders still loose, your jaw relaxed, your face turning into a gentle smile. Love yourself. If you would like, feel free to keep your eyes closed, or if you would prefer to open them, that's fine too. But I want to share with you some thoughts on how to simply love yourself. It's easy for someone to say you should do something, but for someone to show you how to do something, well, that's entirely different. So, let's get started. Number one, spend time with yourself. Sounds easy enough, right? But it's helpful to find out what makes you happy, and then to be that person for a while. Find out the things that keep you sane amidst all of the chaos, all of the busyness in life. If you need some ideas, check out the episode Understanding New Currency Part 1 from two weeks ago. But spend some quality time alone, doing even just one activity, rather than feeling lonely and wishing you had someone to do that activity with. You'll find that by doing something that is entirely yours alone, It fills your emotional cup. It doesn't have to be grandiose. It could be going to the library or taking a nap. Oh, I do love me some naps. Feeling the wind in your hair while you're on a bike ride or getting the big box of popcorn and seeing a movie by yourself. Whatever it is that is entirely yours and just for you, spend some time with yourself, getting to know yourself, Sometimes all we need is to take a step back from all of it and just have some me time and recuperate before diving right back into the deep end of the day-to-day pool. Another way to love yourself, and this is a hard one, is to not compare yourself with others. In a world of oranges, be an apple. Or as I like to think of it, in a world of pre-packaged Oreos available on every store shelf, be the the right-out-of-the-oven homemade chocolate chip cookie. Don't compare yourself with others. 
everyone is different. Everyone is unique in their own way, prepackaged or not, but nobody can or should be a copy of somebody else. You are you, and that's a fact. Others are them, and that's a fact too. There is no need to compare or compete with anyone. In a world of store-bought cookies, be homemade. Comparison is a really hard thing because we look at somebody else and we say, I want to be like them. But you honestly don't really understand them, who that person is, and how they're looking elsewhere and looking at someone saying the same thing. It isn't until we finally just sit with ourselves and we take everything in of what it is we're trying to be. You're not inadequate. There's not a void in you. You're beautiful. You're incredible. You are homemade. And the world needs more homemade. So why would you be something that's store-bought? Don't compare yourself for one second to anyone else. You are everything you need to be. And finally, and this one is pretty difficult for me personally, so I'm teaching my own self this. Say no when you need to say no. If something is not a priority to you, if it pulls you away from you or makes your life unnecessarily complicated, the word is no. Saying yes too often to appease someone else's dreams or whims, it will deplete you. It will detour you from where you are supposed to be. So when your heart tells you no, did you hear that? When your heart tells you no, let your words speak its truth. And once truth is spoken, be at peace. I know it's hard because a lot of times we want to make peace with everybody and we want everything to be just smiley. But once truth is spoken, be at peace. Knowing what your heart wanted to say was what it needed to voice. It's okay to be tired. It's okay to be exhausted. But it's not okay to think adding more to your already heavy shoulders will fix the emotional fatigue. It won't. Before adding yet another thing to your plate, this year or this week or this hour, ask yourself, this thing I'm adding, is it loving myself well? Does it make me smile or does it make me stress? Am I loving myself? And if not, then save it in the box for next year, as maybe by then you'll view it differently. Not forever, just not today. Oof, I'm going to say that one one more time for my own sake. You're not saying no forever. You're just saying no today. Because when you do this, when you realize that there are things that you can put into a box and you can hold off and you can say, hey, you know what, not right now, you'll smile more, you'll love more, you'll feel more, you'll even kind more as you share the kindness you've shown yourself with those around you. Make this the year, the year of learning to love yourself. As a side note, and this is completely unscripted right now, thank you. Thank you for the countless emails and the messages and the reviews. I have to be honest, this podcast is a passion piece of mine, and I never envisioned it having the following that it does. Thank you. Because what you may not realize is I'm working through life just as much as we all are. 
right? I'm exhausted. I'm tired. Just as much as you're exhausted and you're tired. And if there's anything that this podcast has taught me is that we're not, it's so cliche, but you're not alone. You're not. We're in this together. And the more people I hear from, the more I feel loved in the sense of support. The more I hear from you guys, the more encouraged I am from each of you to know that like this bond, this circle that we're creating with each other is, it's an intimate one and it's a strong one. It's so strong. There are thousands of people that listen to each episode. And I just like, I, I envision all of us just like, like wrapping arms around each other. You know, it's powerful. So yeah, we're, we're exhausted. And there's a season of just, there's a season of adding really amazing things in life. There is, I'm not going to deny that doesn't have to be right now. It can be later. Right now, I want you to walk away from this episode saying to yourself, the most important thing for you today is to love yourself. To find more episodes of Calm It Down, hear the musical playlist from today's episode, or simply wanting to know where to send chocolate chip cookies, visit CalmItDownPodcast.com. You'll even find additional resources for emotional support, including our online community and our Facebook page. You're not alone. You are not alone. This podcast was written and produced by yours truly, Chad Lawson, composer, Pianist and nationally recognized Sweet Tooth. And now something my attorney wants me to say. The views, expressions, and techniques in this episode are of my personal opinion and is not intended to, nor should they serve as a substitute for medical advice or diagnosis rendered to you by your individual doctor or other healthcare provider. Only a licensed physician should evaluate your situation, provide a diagnosis, or render other medical advice to you, and you should only act upon the advice of such physician. Now, what I'd like to say. I am an extreme empath by nature, but my profession is that of a composer and pianist, not a licensed therapist or physician. I hear from thousands of listeners how my music has helped them through various stages of emotional needs, and I simply want to offer this and future podcasts in aiding those needs. To find a list of licensed professionals in your area, please visit CalmItDownPodcast.com. And finally, if you've enjoyed today's episode, please leave a review. While it takes less than 60 seconds to do, its impact will last for years to come as every little bit helps in growing the awareness and the importance of emotional health. I'm Chad Lawson, and until next time, be kind to your mind, and join me next week as we calm it down.